Hello YouTube. Um, I've been gone for a week. I can't believe it. This is my normal face without makeup. I will do a review. Um, do something on that coming soon. I don't like to be on YouTube without makeup. Um, cause my face is tore up. I feel like. But I'll get into that on another video. Today's video is Hollywood Men. Yes. Let's get into it. Okay. So, everybody has the perfect man in mind, okay? Um, but there's some gorgeous men in Hollywood that just have to be named. I'm just seriously. From Brad Pitt to Chris Hemsworth to my favorite, John Cena. I mean, even though he's not in Hollywood, I mean, he's a star in his own. He's a superstar. So, yeah. There are a lot of men. And I'm going to go to my top ten. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. So, number ten. I like Jake Gyllenhaal. Um, just because... He goes up and down, and he seems like he doesn't just date Hollywood women. He dates all around. But then, I do kind of hate him. The reason why he's number 10 is because he only dates like three to four months. And then says, I'm over it. Number nine. <sighs> do you know what this means? Whoa. I know. I'm just saying. Joey Lawrence, um, if you don't know him, you've been living under a rock. I feel like you have. Um, he was on a show called Barbie Love and then um, Give Me a Break back in like the 80s or 90s. But he's amazing. I love him. Now he's on Melissa and Joey. Um, go check that out because I'm a big Melissa and Joe Hart fan. I'll get into that in another video. But yeah. Um... He's number nine. Number number eight is Orlando Bloom. He's now single again. Yes. So yes, I I, I think I do have a chance. I know I have a chance. Um, it will come. Number seven is my love of my, my well. He's not my love of my life, but he's getting a little older. But when he gets older, he's He's getting more gorgeous. And that would be Brad Pitt. I'm just, come on. I mean, he looks amazing. And I love Angelina too. She's like, my the person I would like to be like. Anyways. Number six is Paul Levinsky, a.k.a. Trip H. Um, I have an addiction to him and he's not he's not farther up on my list just because of his um his hair has now that he doesn't have anymore it used to be long and beautiful and blonde but it's not there anymore so he's moved up to number six I'm just saying <sighs> my top five Let's get into it. Okay. Number five is um, Blake Lively's husband, Ryan Reynolds. Oh, my God. That, I mean, come on. He has the packs. He's amazing. And, I mean, he's just gorgeous. Gorgeous. Um, clearly, he has a type. And, it's, and I'm not blonde. So, I don't think we will ever work out. But he's married to Selena. You know, so Serena. Did I say Selena? I've been listening to Selena, the soundtrack. Sorry about that. So yeah, that was number five. Number four. I would have to say um, Jeff Hardy. I mean, I I love that like hardcore look of him. So yeah, Jeff Hardy. He's a WWE superstar. 
Look him up if you don't know who that is, okay? Number, number three. It's Justin Randall Timberlake. I know. He's not higher on the list because... I don't know. I mean... He just not... It isn't. So, yeah. Justin Ronald Timberlake. I love him. He will be my baby daddy. That's why I will call him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't care if he's married. Number two... Is Chris Hensworth. Oh. He's just gorgeous. I mean, he is. So, I mean, I just have to say it. He's gorgeous. He's gorgeous. So, yeah. And when he puts on that cape and becomes Thor, that body is so six-pack. Ba-doom, 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 ba-doom. Six-pack to death. My number one pick, and come on. Anybody saw this coming? It's John... Cena. I mean, come on. Come, uh, who can do any better than that? That smile. That um. I mean, he's such. He's so gorgeous. And yeah, there's. I should. I, I should not have to explain myself about loving John Cena as much as I do. I mean, um, my YouTube name is John Drina Cena. If you did not know, I'm in love with him. Okay, so yeah, thank y'all for tuning in for a, a happy Friday, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. That means Sunday. Bye-bye.